Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at capacitance and the units related to capacitance. Well, we use the big letter C for capacitance and the units are F or farads. But what is a farad in basic units? Well, there are two different ways in which we can define capacitance. It is equal to the charge collected on the capacitor plates divided by the voltage driving that charge onto the plates, or we can use the physical dimensions of a capacitor, saying that the capacitance is equal to the epsilon sub naught, there's that permittivity of free space again, times the surface area of the plate divided by the distance between the plates. So we're going to calculate the units for both of these definitions, and hopefully they will be the same. And then we're going to calculate the energy stored on a capacitor in terms of the equation 1 half the capacitance times the voltage squared. Let's start with this right here, charge divided by voltage. So we need to have the units for voltage. And we know that voltage can be defined as the electric field times the distance traveled through the field. And the electric field can be defined as newtons per coulomb, and distance would be times meters. And newtons can be defined as kilograms, meters, per second squared. We still have coulombs in the denominator and another meters in the numerator, so make that meter squared. So those are the basic units for voltage. Now looking at this equation right here, the basic unit for voltage is equal to the charge, which is coulombs divided by voltage, which is kilograms meter squared divided by second squared times coulombs which can go to the top, so second squared times coulombs. And when we combine those, we get the basic units for capacitance is, capa is a charge coulomb squared times second squared divided by kilogram times meter squared. And this would be the same as the units of ferrets. All right, let's see if we get the same result when we take the physical dimensions of a capacitor and find the units for that. So we need to find the units for the permittivity of free space and the units for K out of Coulomb's law was equal to newtons times meters squared divided by Coulomb squared, which means for epsilon sub naught, it's equal to the inverse of that, which means it's Coulomb squared divided by newtons meters squared. And that we can plug in here. So the units of epsilon sub naught are coulomb squared divided by newtons meter squared. We multiply that times the area, which is meter squared divided by the distance, which is meters. Notice that this cancels out that. And, well, it doesn't look yet like what we have over here, except we have newtons down here. So let's take that newtons and convert it to what newtons is equal to. So this can be converted to, we have c squared in the numerator, newtons is kilograms, meters, divided by second squared, which puts second squared at the top, and then we still have a meters at the bottom. Then if we bring those together, we end up with c squared, coulomb squared, times second squared, divided by kilogram meters squared. And let's see here, that's exactly the same as I had over there. So those are the standard units of capacitance, which means that is the same as a ferret. Finally, the energy stored in a capacitor. Now energy, that should be in joules. So let's see if we combine this, that we end up with joules. So the units of capacitance we already have, that would be Coulomb squared times second squared divided by kilogram times meter squared. And then we multiply that times voltage squared. Now voltage we have over here, and we have to square that. So we take kilogram squared meters to the fourth power divided by seconds to the fourth power and coulomb squared. Remember I had to take voltage, the units of voltage, and square everything because I had voltage squared. Now that should reduced to simply joules. Let's see if that's true. Well, first of all, coulomb squared, coulomb squared cancels out. We have second squared and seconds to the fourth power, that becomes second squared. Kilograms and kilograms squared, cancel one of those. Meters squared, meters to the fourth power, becomes meters squared. So it looks like everything here is canceled out, 
And on the right side, I have left the following kilograms to the first power, meters times meters, divided by seconds squared. And notice that kilograms meters per second squared, that's a unit of newtons. So this is equal to newtons times meters, and a newton meter is indeed a joule, which shows us that the units for the energy stored in a capacitor, one half CV squared, is indeed joules. And notice that the units for farads, which is the units for capacitance, can be expressed in the basic four units of meters, kilograms, seconds, and coulombs. We have coulombs, seconds, kilograms, and meters. So C squared, coulomb squared, times second squared, divided by kilograms, divided by meters squared, is indeed the units of farads or the units of capacitance. And that's how we know.